just want to say it is very, very, very early in the day to make a video, but of course it's just got an update. And this is the only car we can get right now. It's like 1034 right now. The um, Forza for the Daily Challenges updates every day at 1030. It's four minutes past that. I already did today's uh, challenge, but we got a car. What? Uh uh, of course, it's some Lambo kid. That's the least impressive thing I've ever seen in my life. But can we just take a moment to appreciate how absolutely sick this thing looks? Okay, I should probably go into detail on what this is. This is a 1969 Chevy Camaro Super Sport. Uh, says Forza Edition. But if you head over to your message center, I already claimed it, but it'll be in your gifts. It's a free car! A free car, and it's technically a Force Edition, even though I will show you a little quirk with this. But in the news, you can see Race Through the Roads of the Rise Festival, the 1969 Chevy Camaro Jordan Luca 3 Motorsport Edition. So, this is a partnership with, I guess, Jordan's, like the shoes. And apparently, this car is basically kind of Force Edition, except if we go to change car and we look at the stats. It's not. There's no identifier on what boost uh, this thing has. Let me just uh, real quick show you an actual Force Edition car, like right here. Uh oh. None of these show the boost anymore. It would usually say like destruction skills boost or speed skills boost. Maybe they bugged it out. So maybe this thing does actually have a boost, right? Like drift or skills or something. Because it does not tell you. But let's just go customize this thing. I just want to say this thing. The wide body kit, the vitals, everything on this. The wheels, the tire lettering. It looks so good. And they even have an Air Jordan logo on the back. Which is so sick. That's why my dad actually, his first car was a uh, Camaro. It was an RS SS. And I never saw a picture of it. Or I don't know what it looks like, but it was just primer. Like, it wasn't even painted. It was just painted in primer. But we have no visual customization. Of course, I mean, why would you want to change the sick looks of this thing? Oh, I just noticed the seats! Look at the seats in the interior! Damn! I wonder if uh, Jordan owns this, like, Michael Jordan, I think it is? I think he, maybe he owns this in real life. If so, great taste. But we have no engine swap coming. So we have a 6.1 liter V8. We will throw on all wheel drive because we spin our wheels so much. We're naturally aspirated, but we'll actually supercharge it instead of twin turboing it. And we can throw on slick tires that does remove the tire lettering. We're actually on sport tires, but slick tires are gonna be the best. The wheels are super sick stock, so keep those. Go with a seven speed, a drive line. This is a modified engine, so we will probably get a good bit of power out of it. We're already on racing springs. We're as light as can, we're as light as can be, which is normally 3,200 pounds, but of course, yeah. <coughs> and now I just wanna see, what does this thing sell? We don't have an exhaust for this. Intake, sounds a little better. Camshaft, fine. We will supercharge it. That pushes us up to S2. I have a feeling this thing is going to be like a uh, Camaro Unicorn in a way. And after all of our, all our upgrades, we have 1,100 horsepower. But I want to see if we can get more power if we throw on a twin turbo. That's usually the case with these because, you know, Forza likes twin turbos a lot better. 1,115 compared to 1,112. I say we supercharge it still, because we only lose like three horsepower. So, I mean, yeah. It might be maybe a little heavier than the turbo. I don't know. But still, we weigh 3,500 pounds. Pretty heavy, actually. We have 1,100 horsepower. Actually, you know what? I'm going to downgrade the power a little bit, because I want to see if we can get this thing to sit nicely in S1. We'll downgrade the supercharger by a little bit, actually. We'll go upgrade the pistons. It'll go with a sport fuel system. Is there, there's probably nothing else we can do. 
So keep it with a 6.1 liter V8, but now we have 963 horsepower, a little bit heavier, but that's fine by me. Is that? Oh yeah, my headset's probably like half broke. It probably is. Usually it's broken. My uh, headset is. I am just doing like the poison, the poison for Cusco, Cusco's poison. <laughs> yeah, I finally missed it. Like the poison, the poison for Cusco, the poison specifically made to kill Cusco, Cusco's poison. That poison. <laughs> yeah, also, I feel like I should have gone with a drift wheel, but I kind of want this thing to be useful because it's an S1 track toy. And fours are with the uh, community uh, stuff. They really like to make some of the tracks S1 track toys. I've used the Envision several times, the uh, 911 GT3 several times, the uh, 99, was it 991? I have a model back there of it, so you know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, now let's just paint this thing. I love the stock paint, but I want to paint it something different. What I kind of want to do is paint it chrome, so we have chrome bumpers, and that actually no, that probably won't work. So what what should we do for this? Like, there's probably no vinyls or like uh, livery groups out for this. It does look super sick though. Like, what do we even do? I haven't painted a car in this Prisma color maybe since 2019. I kind of like it on this car, but we're going to have to add some pinstriping back. The hood will leave that as is. Are those? Oh, no, those vents are uh, centered. I thought they were, like, offset to one side, and that was going to bug me so much. Wheels? What if we go full carbon or white wheels? I feel like white wheels is sick, but what if we... Actually, no, I have an idea. So go with the primary color in carbon fiber. The secondary color is going to be what's behind it. Oh, whoa! I'm on carbon fiber, not carbon Kevlar. This is carbon Kevlar. This is carbon fiber, and it actually looks like... You see, that? It, looks, it still looks like gold. I think we'll leave them white, though. I think we'll leave it on white wheels, but we do need to add some striping and stuff. But that is really interesting. I know that's a bug on some of the wheels where if you paint them with, like, a uh, Spectra Flame or another, like, special color like that, it'll, like, be really, really weird. Alright, so I already shared the livery, and I literally just made it in, like, five minutes. So, we got the little bit of pinstriping on the side, we got the uh, little doge outline on the front. That 24 is actually the same one that I used on one of my most popular videos. The uh, Envision 74, that uh, Analog 24. It's also one of my most popular liveries, too. Uh, but yeah, I made the... Well, I just made another in black. That, I don't know if that's shared. But something else I did was I, of course, added the stripes. I painted the rear bumper black, which was actually pretty easy. And then the, on the other side, and then on the front, the little uh, flower scoop down there. That used to be the body color, but I just painted that black as well. This thing is really easy to paint, and it looks really, really good overall. And, of course, you can't open the hood, I'm assuming. Okay, you can actually open the doors. I'm assuming, yeah, you can't open the trunk. Because it's basically just a reskinned Camaro, like the Camaro we already have in the game. Except with modifications, usually you can't open the hood or the trunk if you put like a wing on it and the hood if you put like a blower or something on it. So that's kind of what it, uh, it's counting like. But the lights do look really good. I just noticed because they flickered there. But last show, we are on slick race tires. It's being weird. My game is now lagging a lot after this update maybe because they added the hide and seek, which I'm actually really excited for. So we have a 6.7 in handling still. Our acceleration and launch is at 10. We have 963 horsepower. And we are on, as I said, we are on slicks. But maybe because we weigh so much, the um, handling took a dive. But since we have so much power, maybe we could tune the arrow a little bit to help us. 
just like that. Also, we are going to race over to the stadium because I want to see if they added the maze yet. I'm pretty sure that comes out on Thursday. But it is still worth the check. And I'm really excited for the series. Seriously. Oh, Thursday, we got the freaking Evo 3 in the game now. Seriously, we also got the brand new um, Super WRX, which I'm actually really disappointed about because the customization sucks. They went over it. I just wish that we had an STI wing we could throw on it. But it's basically the kind of the same customization we have on the 22 BRZ, which, uh, as you know, I hate it. We're also getting the Toyota, uh, Toyota Chaser, which I know a lot of people are excited for. But I think it's the 91, not... I think the 97 is the one everyone wanted. And then we, for the last week, it's the, probably the car I'm most excited about, honestly. We're getting a uh, Volvo. I forget what it's called. I want to say a T5? I don't know, but it's a Polestar Limited Edition. Limited edition. 2013 Hot Hatch. Um... Inline 5 Turbo, which is also super sick. Because, you know, I'm a fan of inline 5s and anything with a multiple of 5 cylinders. And, well, I don't think I have to tell you that there's no maze here because I could see it. And if you're blind, I'm sorry to hear that. And there is no maze in this giant stadium. But, honestly, I'm expecting we're not going to get up to a pretty good speed because superchargers, they're good for low-end power, but not high-end power, like a turbocharger. But around here, we can only, because of our kind of lack of grip, even though we do have a good bit of it, I think we can only hold a steady 160 before we start understeering, or 165-ish, maybe? 164... But as a free car, this thing is amazing, and I love it.